Hello, Jody here from Healing Journey. Just a reminder that this is the last week for you to access the bonus for the Holistic Anxiety Fix 12-week program that's going to systematically walk you through healing anxiety so you're not overwhelmed by racing thoughts so anxiety isn't controlling your life, so you're not afraid to drive or go outside of the house so you can sleep through the night. All really great outcomes. So if you're looking to access this bonus, which is an extra week of co an extra month, sorry, of coaching, GABA supplements and how to use them, as well as an extra one-on-one -on -one with me, then you want to book a call at the link above. So I am full up in the first week of February as well as this week. So if you'd like to book a call and you can't find a, an appointment until February, then I will honor anyone who books this week. So this call, this um, offer expires at the end of January. So only a couple more days to get this offer. I've never offered anything like this before, and I probably won't have a suite of a deal again. So please book a call. So today's topic is something that has come up in the group a lot and I wanted to bring it up, which is copper toxicity. So this isn't necessarily something that a lot of people are very familiar with and yet it can be a really significant cause of anxiety. So copper toxicity is basically what it sounds like. It's an accumulation of bio unavailable copper in the body. So you might be listening to me thinking, Psh, that's not me. Like where would I get copper from? I don't drink from like the copper cups. I don't wear copper bracelets. I don't have copper jewelry. Like I, this doesn't like with me at all, but I'm going to share two main reasons why a lot of women have copper toxicity. Number one is birth control. If you've been on any form of birth control, uh, hormonal birth control, IUD, the patch, the shots, whatever it is, for any length of time, I like to say beyond two years, then what can actually happen is that it creates this situation where you become what's known as estrogen dominant. And that estrogen is going to cause your body to store copious amounts of copper. And so what a lot of women don't realize is they're like, yeah, I've been on birth control. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. We actually haven't really fully researched what goes on in terms of long-term use of birth control and how it relates to anxiety. If you think about it, our society of women is becoming much more anxious than previous generations. And one of those links is actually copper toxicity. It's pretty massive. In fact, the test that I use to look at copper toxicity, it's a hair tissue mineral analysis. It's been around since the 1960s or 70s, and they've seen a massive increase in the amount of copper toxic test results, namely with women coming through as in the last like 10, 15, 20 years. And and they're linking it actually to birth control being on the rise. So if you are somebody who's used birth control, just let me know below if you're comfortable or like this post, because if you've used it for more than two years, you've created this situation of copper toxicity. Now the misnomer is that, okay, Jody, I use birth control, but I'm not on it anymore. I shouldn't be copper toxic. Wrong. So what actually happens is the copper will start to, um, it'll start to store in the brain and it starts to store in the liver, which means that it causes anxiety. It stimulates your adrenal glands and burns through your adrenal glands. So you end up being super stressed and very depleted of minerals. And so what that actually means is that you don't have the support or the energy in your body to actively detox it. So even if you're no longer on birth control, you're still going to have that copper stored deep within your tissues that you now need to give your body the energy to get out. So the second main reason I see it, and it's very much linked with the first, is pregnancy. So a lot of women go into pregnancy with higher than average levels of copper. Again, this is not going to show up in your blood because it's deep within your tissues. And so you've gone in a little bit anxious and then you come out and your anxiety's out of control. 
I hear that quite commonly. And what actually happens is that copper is naturally going to increase during pregnancy. But for some women, they don't possess the detox capabilities or the energy necessary to detox the copper after pregnancy. And so the copper remains high. And this is one of the links between pregnancy and anxiety. So a lot of women just aren't able to detox that copper afterwards or end up with a situation where they're still estrogen dominant after pregnancy. So symptoms of copper toxicity pretty much line up with wild and crazy PMS. It lines up with anxiety, racing thoughts, difficulty sleeping at night, monkey mind, um, mood swings, all of those kinds of things are associated with copper. So I actually personally had a pretty significant issue with copper. My hair test, it would show up off the charts. I should put a picture in here for you guys. It was wild and I can tell you that my mind was going crazy. I would sit, you know, and go for a walk in the forest and there was no calmness happening. So I could go to the most Zen place and my body would be on fire. And a big portion of that was copper toxicity. And so how do you address copper toxicity, you might ask? So this is where the hair test comes into play. So right now I have the hair test as part of the holistic anxiety fix. So we get to look at are you copper toxic? And then how do we get that copper out of the system? So we use supplements and binders to pull the copper out of the system for you. So that is my, the main way actually is through supporting your minerals to give your body the energy. And that's how we start to detox it. But the big thing that you're going to get with that is you're going to get an answer. So when I saw my copper off the charts, I was like, Oh, this explains what's going on. And there's something, and I don't know if you're also finding this as well, but there's something really, really incredible about having answers, having a framework to then understand, hey, my body's not going crazy for no reason. This is why. And once you have an answer, you can then make a roadmap for how to heal it. And that can also be a significant reducer in anxiety. So you have a context to put your symptoms in. No, you're not going crazy, right? You're experiencing something like copper toxicity that's stimulating your mind, stimulating your adrenals and preventing detox. So if you want to know more about how to do an HTMA hair test or how I systematically work with anxiety, including a copper test, then book in the link above for a complimentary call where we're basically going to go through where you're at, what you've tried, what's worked, what hasn't worked, and gaps in how you've been approaching healing your anxiety. So it's a very useful call, even if we decide this program is not for you. So please take advantage of this offer, which ends at the end of January. Looking forward to speaking with you. Bye for now.